How were people saved before the cross? Well, there is only one righteousness. God, who is the original, the original righteous one, he owns the copyright to it. Since there's only one good, there's only one righteousness. And so that righteousness, that has been the goal for all men who seek it in all dispensations of human history, of course, minus one, Adam. He didn't even have the knowledge of good and evil. And so he didn't have the knowledge of the good. And so therefore, you see, he didn't have the knowledge of righteousness. Minus Adam, during the time of his ignorance, the same righteousness, because there is only one, uh, that was the goal for all dispensations. Moses, the meekest man around, he spoke to Moses face to face like one speaks to a friend. You can look at Seth, you can look at Noah. Noah was righteous. God spoke to Noah. Um, Abraham. They were not people still enslaved to the flesh. They couldn't have been. Because, you see, people that are enslaved to the flesh, they are not righteous. You can't take people in their un undelivered condition and call them righteous. Because they're not. Just like you can't take somebody who's undelivered and call them delivered. So the idea, you know, that um, there's this special righteousness that occurred after the cross that wasn't there before, uh, that's uh, not true. So... How were people delivered before the cross? Well, the same, we have the same things. Deliverance from ignorance, you see. How do you get delivered from ignorance? You get the right information. And so you do not walk according to the flesh. Thou shalt not covet. I mean, a lot of people pretend that like there was, I don't know, there's some kind of salvation by the law or something back then. And salvation is different now. Now, I would like to know how one is delivered by doing this. For the very thing I want to do, I don't do. And the very thing I don't want to do, I wind up doing. You see, that's knowledge of the law, isn't it? For with my mind, I praise the law. But with my body, sin. So you have knowledge of the law. For that which I want to do, I do not do the law. Well, you see, mankind today, in his undelivered state, is in the same predicament. And so I would say that they were aided by God, just like we are aided by God today. Or, you see, well, what are the options? Or alternative suggestions? What, they delivered themselves? Or what, they were never delivered? Then there would be no such thing as the righteous before the cross. Was God, you see, it has to do with what words mean, doesn't it? And as they're found in the dictionary. Was Noah righteous, yes or no? And what is it that definition of righteous? You see what I mean? The definition of words don't change. And you can look at the definition of words or in the Psalms, my deliverer. I go by what words mean. It's not the one who will deliver me in the future and I'm not delivered. That is not, you see. Why would God say take refuge in him if it's not possible to do that? Um, it's the same way as it, as it is today. To not walk according to the flesh, you see, and to be delivered from ignorance. I mean, that's what it is. Look at Job. Does anybody want to lay a charge against Job? I'm not going to. Look at Daniel. He passed the test. Daniel, the lion's den. He was not walking according to the flesh. He loved the truth above his own life. He loved that which is good above his own life. Now, okay, if you do that, how can anybody say you're not delivered or you're not righteous? And to be in the righteous state is to be delivered. And that occurred before the cross. They had faith in Jesus Christ. But you see how it's like this. God was not prevented from helping people before the cross. He was not prevented from helping people. You see, like Job, examine him. Does he have a conflict of interest? You see, is Job lying in his testimony or telling the truth? Look at how he treated his neighbors. Job was righteous above all others, right? among his generation how he treated his neighbor he was lawful had good intent all of those things see, that's all evidence of deliverance you know and that is evidence of deliverance and so um, <clears throat> they were aided by God you know it's just like we are aided by God today I don't see why that would you see the thing is our faith or reliance in God it is justified it is shown to be justified we accredit 
our deliverance to God, just like they did before the cross. They are claiming to be imitating God. Satan accused God of not being good, you see. And so Jesus Christ was tested. And you see how their claim to deliverance is by faith in God and by the acts of God. And when Jesus Christ was tested and passed the test, proven to be righteous, proven to be trustworthy, their faith was justified. Their faith in Him was shown to be the right thing to do. Because the idea is, if you have faith in somebody that is corrupt, your faith is sin. And your faith is not only not justified, it's proven to be trusting in corruption. You certainly cannot be righteous by doing that.